So just wanted to show the synchronization between Vault um, and some of the 360 tools from Autodesk, specifically BIM 360, um, to allow you to connect external teams collaboratively with your internal um, work in progress or document management uh, lifecycle. So I'm using Vault, latest uh, build of 2019. Um, on this machine, I also have the latest build of the desktop connector. Um, and that means I can leverage um, job processor in Vault to synchronize to the cloud. So I've got a BIM 360 docs account. Um, that docs account has um, some project files. Uh, I've got a folder here called sync to Vault that I've just created not too long ago um, this afternoon. Uh, and it's currently empty. So there's nothing sat in that folder. Um, that folder is recognized across all of my devices. So if I go to my computer, head over onto my BIM docs um, in desktop connector, I can see that that file exists and is empty in this location. So um, what I'm going to do is head over into Vault and go over into my um, global settings and make sure that my job server is turned on. And then I'm going to also go into the, um, the general Vault settings go across to collaborate and head over to configure a cloud sync. This works very similar to the old buzzsaw sync using project sync um, back in the day of buzzsaw. Um, it's a little bit um, more modernized and a little bit easier to use, but uh, essentially at the top we configure a map. So let's create a new one. Uh, let's call it BIM 360 demonstration. And let's map um, the vault folder that I have here called BIM 360 sync. You could do an entire vault should you really want to, um, or a specific project folder. Um, but I'm just going to say for this example, this subfolder is absolutely fine. So we'll grab that subfolder in, the, in vault. We will enable um, the cloud map. We'll enable a manual sync. And should you want to, you could also restrict the file upload based on the release of the file. So only upload approved files, for example. I'm going to choose to map this to a cloud location. So this will just tap into that um, that desktop connector. So you must have desktop connector installed to be able to do this. It will look at your different um, drives and it allows you to select, in my case, a BIM 360 docs account. And I can choose my sync to vault folder that I've just created in BIM 360 docs. So that's the basic mapping. From there, I can choose synchronization schedules should I want to. So I could say that I would like to synchronize the entire folder and I want to do a bi-directional sync. Yes, you could do a one way up from vault to the cloud or one way down from the cloud to the vault, should you want to. But I'm going to do a full bi-directional sync to this folder and all subfolders. I'm going to do that bi-directional sync every 12 hours and therefore twice a day. We could filter that out to individual files if we wanted to only upload Revit files or only upload um, inventor drawings or, or DWG files, whatever it might be, we could filter those out. In my case, go ahead and upload everything in that folder location and do so bi-directionally. I'm just going to press apply and press OK and then close down the synchronization window. Now, without doing anything else, let me just remind you that inside BIM 360, I have an empty folder. So if I refresh inside of BIM 360 docs, that folder is completely empty. There's nothing in there. If I go across to, um, to my job processor now inside of Vault and just open that up and make sure that job processor is running and logged in with relevant credentials, this is now going to start processing a job. This is doing an upload in the background. So it's gone through a process of taking the folders and the files from this location Yes, in this example, I've only got two very small folders and files in there, but it takes those folders. And if I now refresh on the cloud, we should be able to see the folders um, and their files within BIM 360 docs on the cloud. So if I go to my project files, it takes a couple of seconds. It's not uh, it's not instant. It's got to go through a few um, a few different pieces of technology to get into that location. Um, let's just make sure that that is running on the job processor. So let's just do a pause and a resume. There we go. The job starts. So it's syncing from BIM 360 sync to our BIM 360 docs account. It should only take a few seconds. It then transfers those files. And what we should see once it's done that is those files will appear inside of BIM 360 docs. Obviously, the larger your files and the larger the data set, the longer it will take 
Um, but typically, as long as you've got a decent internet connection, as long as that internet connection is stable on the job processor machine or the job processor server, um, it runs extremely well and you have no issues. We can see instantly in the background that this is starting to fill up with files. So if I come into here and give it a, a refresh with F5 on my keyboard, we should be able to see that we have our, um, our document in there, sample document dot dot X that we can see. And I also have a folder called Revit project, which houses an RVT Revit file. This has got to go through its standard BIM 360 identification and processing process, um, just to make sure that it knows what that file is. That'll take a few minutes. Um, and once that's gone through that process, we will be able to work with and use that file. Whilst it's doing that in the background, I'm going to go back to my sync to vault folder and I'm going to choose to upload a new file. In this case, maybe we're going to choose to upload an AutoCAD file. So let's just go into AutoCAD, open up AutoCAD, do a very, very quick drawing, something very simple. We'll save it in a non vaulted location specifically, and then we'll get that file synchronized back into Autodesk Vault to use internally. So let's imagine I am now external from the process. I'm working externally on the cloud, in this case using AutoCAD or indeed any other application um, that you may be using in that workflow. And run through the process. So let's just start a, a new drawing. I'm not um, too fussed about what we're looking at here, but um, we're going to create a rectangle. Um, any old where, it doesn't really matter where. Um, there's our very detailed and technical drawing. Beautiful. Let's save it, throw it on my desktop, and hit save. Not fussed on naming convention for the purpose of this. I'm just going to save that locally. Close that down, head back into BIM 360, and choose to upload that file from my desktop. So let's come onto my desktop. Let's go and grab that DWG that we just created and open it up. BIM 360 Docs will process that file as expected. Uh, recognize all the attributes, so on and so forth. So it will go and do the workflow that you're used to inside of BIM 360 Docs. Whilst that's processing, we should be able to come onto our Revit project here, and we should be able to see that this is finished processing. So this is a Revit file from Vault, from a internal work in progress, which we can then open and work on and view and interrogate directly on the cloud. So this is a vaulted internal file, which has been shared with people outside of the organization. I can then come in and I can start working, placing sections, interrogating, and looking at that file in any way, shape, or form I should need to. It also absolutely has all the properties of every single component, so I can come in and select component inside of that file. And with that component selected, access its property data from Revit, should I need to. So once that file is inside of BIM 360, it works like any other BIM 360 file although it's directly from my vault. That AutoCAD file now has finished uploading. So we can see that I now have drawing1.dwg. Um, and if I was to wait 12 hours, my job processor task would start and that would synchronize back into uh, my Autodesk vault. I don't particularly want to wait 12 hours for the purpose of this video. So um, what I'm gonna make sure is that my local drive is refreshed. So I'm going to refresh my A360 drive. I'm going to make sure I head over into Windows Explorer. I'm going to go across into my sync to vault folder, into my um, location where this is stored, which is just in the root. And I'm just going to give it a refresh. I'm going to give it a few minutes and that file will be ready to synchronize back into Autodesk Vault. So that file shows up. Um, after a few seconds or so, um, again, it's not instant. It takes a little while for it to be uploaded and processed here and then get recognized by um, this connection. The way these are working is basically using Forge in the background. And Forge has a secure token to view into here and vice versa. So it's not quite instant, but you don't usually notice the, um, you don't normally notice that because it's just doing an upload every 12 hours. So um, it's neither here nor there, but um, for the purpose of this, I'm going to come back here and show you that that file does not exist. But what I can do now is I can select the folder, choose to download from my cloud drive, select my mapping, and using that mapping, I can say, go ahead and find drawing one 
and download that into my vault. That will take that file. It will take a few seconds and it will download it. If I refresh my vault, give it a couple of seconds, it should identify and download that design inside of vault. I might need to just refresh my job processor for it to do so. Only having to do that process because I'm running the job processor on the same machine that I use as my day-to-day -day workstation. But once that's downloaded, I can refresh and I have my drawing inside of Vault. That drawing is the same as if it had been created on my machine and I can now start working with that drawing on my local PC. So that's a quick overview of synchronizing the cloud to Vault. Um, works with the 360 range of products, whether it's um, Fusion 360 Teams, whether it's BIM 360 Docs, works really well. Um, generally speaking, you don't do it as I've done today. You set up a synchronization, but for the purpose of what I've just shown you, you can do it completely manually as well. Hope that's been useful to see. Thanks for watching.